Hi guys, welcome down to Love & Golf Academy. Today we're going to look at my top three drivers for 2018. Right then guys, so if you're new down to the channel, welcome to Ali Taylor Golf. This channel is all about helping you pick the right equipment, play better golf, and ultimately enjoy your golf more and more. But if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, make sure you get my videos as soon as they drop. Always comment to the videos below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. Other than that, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both under Ali Taylor Golf. But for now, let's get on with what were the top three drivers for me personally in 2018. Right then guys, so there were obviously lots and lots and lots of drivers out in 2018. Not all necessarily great for each individual golfer. And I did a video about a week ago on top five irons, which has created a few comments because it was based on sales down at London Golf Academy. So this isn't going to be about sales. This is just my personal opinion that for me, which were the three best that either ended up in my bag or were very, very close to being in my bag. And in third place was the PXG 0811X. So low spinning head, but obviously got the adjustable weights in the bottom. And even though this is low spinning driver, I actually kept the weights a little bit more towards the back on this. Otherwise I didn't generate enough spin, but very, very clean, not too much visible tech, just a great looking driver. And we'll see from the shots coming up, something that really, really performed well for me. Right then guys, so like I said, in at number three, the 0811X. Surprised me, to be fair, because I thought start of the year that I'd really want to see something or feel something exceptional from this. I think it just, it, it looks great. It's not flashy, but love the look of how simple it looks behind the golf ball. And like I said, then it's all about performance. Good solid strike. Not a huge amount of shape on that. And anything that's getting out that kind of 290 to 300 yards for me is pretty decent. I will stress that we're in between Christmas and New Year. So it's not as cold as normal in the UK, but it's certainly not summer wise. So I'm not going to be swinging at my very quickest, but I still think, you know, this driver gives really, really good performance. It feels incredible. And you can be very, very fine with how you move those weights around. Ha definitely higher price point than a lot of the drivers on the market. That one again, pretty solid. Just turning over a little bit. About the same carry. I'm going to get out there between that 290 and 300 again. Let's go one final one with the PXG. And even though the price point's high on this, you know, I've mentioned this a lot on videos with drivers this year. It's not a case that you should be changing driver every year. I think if you're fitted well, you probably get three to four years out of a correctly fitted driver. Then all of a sudden, spending the amount of money on this driver over a four year period wouldn't really be any more than a lot of guys who are chopping changing every year. So that one a little bit lower off the face. Left it out a little bit to the right, but we can see performance wise, still really, really good distance for one I haven't quite got. Now, obviously, the PXG stuff is at a slightly higher price point, but I'm not basing this on kind of what's the best value, just for me, which were the best. So we saw in third place, PXG had a, an entry. In second place, we have got the Titleist TS3. So again, TS3, low spinning version, more compact head, but again, very clean looking. You know, not loads of tech on top of the club. Got that nice adjustability around the hosel. So really can tinker a lot with club face position, loft, and really get that club set up perfectly to deliver your best results. So the Titleist TS3, absolutely love this when I did the fitting. And if you haven't checked out the video when I did TS2 and 3, definitely worth checking out because very different models, but this is the one for me that came out on top. You know, like I said, I love the look of this. Again, very, very clean, very, very traditional. 
It's a very, very different feeling driver to the PXG. So that one a little bit low off the face. So we'll spin up a little bit and that's gonna cost me a little bit of yardage. But it's interesting because I think, obviously the manufacturers play around a lot with kind of looks and feel. And this is probably the driver that over the year felt fastest off the face for me. And I did get some very, very good ball speed with this driver. Wasn't necessarily consistently the quickest. And I know for 2019, consistent ball speed is a real big thing with all the manufacturers. That's more like it. Little drawy one, maybe just a little bit more than I was trying for. And again, first one there over 300 yards. Which is very much what I saw. I mean, my spin was perfect there. Kind of 1800 spin. Maybe if anything, just very, very slightly towards the toe, but a good solid strike. Ball speed was up there just under 160. One final one with the TS3. Again, good strike. Very, very straight for me. And that's big. Another one over 300 yards. So you can definitely see from those shots there as to why TS3 nearly got in my bag. And this is one that's come out in 2018 that carries over into 2019. So this is definitely gonna, I, I would think, appear in my best of 2019. And it'll be interesting to see how this performs against the other manufacturers' new products moving into the new year. But let's see what my number one driver was. And to be fair, TS3 was incredibly close to going in my bag and, and still may end up going in my bag. But my number one driver for 2018 was the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero. So, so love this driver, got some great performance, obviously jailbreak technology, so not completely new technology anymore, but still in the Rogue. Got the weight up near the face, again got that adjustability around the hosel, so can really change it up and down in loft, down a degree. Up, up to two degrees. Obviously move that club face position around for shaping of shots as well. Still fairly traditional on top. Little bit of visual tech, but like the other two in my top three, very traditional looking, very clean looking from the top. But my number one driver, the Callaway Rogue Sub-Zero. So guys, if you've watched my What's in the Bag, it wasn't a big surprise, was it, to know that this was my number one driver? Like I said on the close up of the head, you know, I love the look hitting the shots. This has performed really well for me. It's been very, very workable all year. But let's hit some and see if we can get them past that TS3. Or will there be a very, very late change to what's in the bag? So there's a good solid strike. Bit turny, which always tends to be my bad one. And again, like I said, between 290, 300 would be my kind of expectation this time of year. It's a bit of a worry though, isn't it, when the, the number two driver has performed so well? But last couple, let's see if this one gets out the longest possible one. So again, really good solid strike. Again, a little bit left. bad. Let's just see if we get this last one, or like I said, it might be a case of changing which driver is going in the bag for the start of 2019. Last one, Rogue Sub-Zero. Again, another really good solid strike, almost identical. Just a little bit longer. Just under 300 yards. Right then guys, so you can see there, accuracy wise, probably the tightest one. Definitely a bit more drawy with the Sub-Zero. No particular reason, it's not set up to do that. But my top three drivers, like I said, maybe positions one and two need to change. But there they are for 2018.
Right then guys, so we can see from the shots, there's not a massive amount in it to be honest, you know, and those few yards difference ultimately come down to where I'm striking it on the club face. I think if I were to hit all those with the exact same swing, out of the exact same place, I think I'd be within a yard or two with each driver. So then it really came down to which ones I felt I could shape the ball the best with, which ones maybe gave me the most control when I was on the golf course. Now. Obviously when you're going through a driver fitting, you don't take it to the course, but that's where for me with the driver fitting, we're not just looking at those numbers, we're looking at, for me personally, can I draw it, can I shape it? But yes, uh, fade the ball, but yes, can I get the numbers that I want with the shapes I want and can I get the ball in play with that maximum distance off the tee? And for me, those top three really outperformed everything else. I dare say there was some comments about, you know, why wasn't such a driver in there? Why wasn't this driver in there? Because they weren't my three best. For 2018, been some great product, but they were my top three. There's some incredible product coming for 2019. It's all gonna get tested on my channel. So if you don't subscribe already, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. As Soon as I do a review or a tip, you'll get notified, you can watch it make your own mind up whether you want to try some new equipment or whether you want to put that into your golf game. So guys, as ever, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, both under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here in the future. Stay in contact.